before we start the next mini session in which we'll speak about one and the same topic, I have prepared you something different. This is a structure that you need to be aware of in order to express yourselves again clearer and to be able to say what you mean using grammar structures. See doing, see do. Or in other words, how to use the verbs of senses with other verbs. Examples? It's easy. I saw you cross the street. I saw you crossing the street. In the first example, I saw you cross the street, you see was infinitive. I saw you cross. In the second example, you see verb was gerund. I saw you crossing. So, what's the difference in the meaning? In the first case, I saw you cross, you see the whole action. You can really see it from the beginning to the end. In the second case, I saw you crossing, you mean that you saw just part of the action. So this is, when you use a verb of senses, plus infinitive, you mean the whole action. When you use it plus gerund, you mean part of the action. Another example. I watched you play basketball, which means that I watched the whole game, verb plus infinitive. I saw you playing basketball, so I didn't see the whole game, I just saw you playing, which means that you saw just part of the action. And of course, the easiest and the best way to practice what you've learned is with the exercises. Pause the video, these are the sentences, what you need to do is to write them, to combine them using verb plus gerund or verb plus infinitive. Okay. The bomb exploded. I heard it. I heard the bomb explode. Verb of senses here was verb in infinitive. I heard the bomb explode. You heard the whole action. This is one of the cases in which you just can't hear part of the action. Number two. A child was lying on the pavement. I saw her and tried to help. You combine them and the idea that you want to, to produce here is that you saw part of the action. I saw a child lying on the pavement. I saw a child lying. Verb was verb was ink. You saw part of the action. Number three. The whole flat shook. I felt it. I felt the whole flat shake. So the verb of senses, feel, and after that the infinitive. I felt the whole flat shake. You felt the whole action. You can't feel actually just part of the shaking, right? You just feel the shaking and that's it. Number four. No idea when it started. When I woke up, the alarm was ringing. I heard it. So, from the context here, you can understand that you heard just part of the whole action. Because the alarm started ringing while you were sleeping and it continued ringing after that. You heard just part of it. I heard the alarm ringing. Number five. I saw a woman. She was crying. I saw a woman crying. You saw part of the action here. It's not given in the context that you saw her what made her distressed, why she started crying how she started crying and how she stopped after that. So you just saw part of the action. When you want to express this, that you saw part of the activity, then you use verb of senses plus verb plus ink. And number six, I tried to warn Bob, but he fell. I saw him. Well, 
in this case you saw the whole action you tried to prevent it after that you saw it and after that you couldn't react whole action verb plus infinitive i saw bob fall good job you are ready for the next mini series curious see you in the next video